Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Holly with Journal with Dolly. And welcome if you're new here, welcome if you're old here. Um, I've seen quite an influx of new Instagram followers recently and also new YouTube subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, then hey, welcome. Um, so today I'm just gonna be working on a few pages in my Fibonacci. We're gonna be doing all sorts of different stuff. Um, I'm gonna be going right back to February where my last few remaining um, really old pages that I'm not up to date with are not done. Um, but I'm also gonna be doing a bit of writing. I'm gonna be doing um, a bit of stamping, watercolor, all sorts of stuff that you can have a look at me doing today and um, now the first thing as if you've been here before you'll know that I always kind of mention my nails and um, and recently obviously my nails have not been in great shape due to having no nail artist at the moment or being able to actually go and get my nails done um, at the nail salon so what I did was I painted my own nails again I found this really nice colour it was kind of like a pinky brown I was like do you know what I never get brown I always get like really mad colours so let's go for this for a change and my nails look like actual poo like the colour is just absolutely horrible like I hate it <laughs> I just think it looks really horrid and I admit that for some people brown looks really nice on their nails however I don't think it looks really nice on mine so yeah it, in, enjoy my horrible nails <laughs> again as we go through this video and um, so as I said before what we're going to do is I'm just going to go through um, kind of my old pages and what I do is if I'm not happy with the page if I'm not happy with how it's looking if I'm not in the mood to do it then I'll literally turn over and I'll come and work on it at um, a later date now these two pages you can see here I've been working on since February you know I've been sticking a little bit here still not liking how it looks sticking a little bit there still not liking how it looks you know keep going back to it um, and eventually you will get to a point where you like the page I think that's the biggest thing with, with journaling is keep going and you will see that it'll look nice eventually <laughs> basically um, and that's what I'm doing here so I think when I've got the writing on I think I'll actually like it and that's another thing once you've added the writing the difference is just ridiculous I think I think it just makes all the differences when you've added the writing on top and um, so make sure you're not kind of dismissing a page before a you've finished it all and b you've got all that writing on there and um, now because I've been kind of up to date the only few pages that I'm behind on is the ones that you just saw then that I've just flicked through and found I'm literally behind I think on about six pages now which is ridiculous but in June and the only page I haven't completed is six pages um apart from a, a couple like from three days ago that I've still got to go back and just write on that is I count that as up to date <laughs> it's as up to date as I'm ever gonna get so I'm really proud of myself for that so um, yeah that's all I'm doing here and um, I'm also gonna be working with different stuff in this video I actually went back to the range after filming my blog video that you might have watched and um, I actually went back a couple of days ago and I bought some watercolors because I'd seen them the last time I'd gone and I'd resisted buying them and then I was like I'm getting paid again in a week and I've still got loads of money left because <laughs> what else is there to spend money on at the minute and <laughs> um, so I was like I'll treat myself to those to those watercolors so I give those a try in here as well I've tried them on actual watercolor paper and uh, they do work really really nice so um, I'm happy with with those and how they, they work out and what I'm doing on the pages when you see me using them in a minute is I actually just do a background I blot it off and then I put a stamp over the top so yeah I'm really happy with how they look out so you can look for that later on in the video um, but yeah, I asked people on Instagram what they wanted me to talk about and when I put that out I kind of had come to the conclusion that for this video um, I just wanted to talk about A what I'm doing on the pages and B kind of what is going on at the moment you know in the world and everything and and that's what I'd rather focus on to be honest um, and kind of just what I'm doing in the journal and things like that. A couple of people have asked me questions so I am going to answer those as well um, but I'm not going to have like a set topic for this video it's kind of just going to be 
a little bit of a ramble session, as Elizabeth would say. <laughs> um, we're just going to be talking about all sorts of different stuff. So I hope that's all right with you guys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what I've been doing recently as well is what I've found is I've actually been pre-decorating my pages quite a lot. And that is weird for me. Like, I don't usually pre-decorate my pages. Um, I usually do them up to... Uh, the day of and then occasionally I might put a, a, a sticker or something on another page uh, in the future and the, the reason for that would be if I have unstuck it and it doesn't actually fit or it doesn't look right so I'll just stick it randomly somewhere else or if I've put a bit of washi and I've actually cut it way too long then I will stick um, another bit of the washi tape at another point in the journal and um, so for me to actually be properly pre-decorated in terms of thinking about what I want on pages is really weird like every single page pretty much now to the end of the year has something on there be that a date sticker or a, you know um, a to-do sticker or just a random bit of washi or something it's something has got something on the page so that's going to be something that's going to be cropping up now in my uh, journal with me's in the future so yeah that was a really really weird um thing that i've started doing <laughs> and i think it's because i've got too much time on my hands guys i'm you know i'm working from home and um, but then all i'm doing is, is being at home i'm not doing anything so th why not pre-decorate <laughs> make it easier for when life goes back to normal and i might not have as much time to journal and decorate and stuff so it's, it's absolutely fine and it might actually help me keep on top of things but I'm going to see how the pre-decorating thing goes because like I say I've never I've never ever done that before <laughs> um so yeah just about what's going on in the world and everything I don't know if anyone saw the post that I put on Instagram but I'm having to take a bit of a break from social media and the reason for that is it's just been really bad on my mental health, guys. Like, I'm not joking. I've never been one of these people that say that social media is bad for you or Facebook should be banned or, like, anything like that. I actually am really for social media. Um, I went and lived in Bangladesh for four months five years ago. And quite frankly, without Facebook, there's no way that I would be able to stay in touch with all those people that I met. So I absolutely love Facebook. It also lets me see a glimpse of the world. You know, I like debating. I like going on there and having a chat with people. I like letting people know what I'm up to. I like seeing what other people are up to. But recently, the amount of ignorance that I'm seeing on there is just making me go insane. Like, I am losing my crap, basically. And um, I'm looking at stuff. People are sharing stuff that's incorrect. Um, my mum's a nurse and she's working on the front line for the whole coronavirus thing so that was already annoying me a little bit when people are sharing fake facts about safety and kind of what coronavirus is and all that kind of thing and I was just like my mum's working on the front line and you're sharing all this absolute crap like why should I be listening to that that's just ridiculous so that really annoyed me and then the Black Moves Matter um, campaign and stuff that's going on at the moment Oh my God, people are just so ignorant and just stay in their own bubble and I'm just sick of it. So I've had to really take a step back and I've also unfollowed a lot of people that have been putting stupid stuff or I've like just stopped following them because I've just been getting too mad. Um, so yeah, that is, that's my situation at the moment. And I did put a post on my Instagram just saying thank you to having such a great kind of community of people which is all about art and it's all about journaling and just having you know fun I think it's really important at the moment to kind of hone in on those um accounts and those people because they're keeping me sane at the moment quite honestly I am just going on my Instagram for my journal at the moment I've got a personal Instagram as well you might follow me on there it's called the dolly in a hat um, I'm avoiding it because I just don't want to see the stuff that's on there. The same with Twitter. Um, my, my handle is the same on Twitter as well. It's the dolly in a hat. Um, it's just getting really toxic and just not a very nice environment to, to be in. So I've tried to limit myself a little bit more by going on social media and stuff. And I've found actually that when I've blocked those people or I've got rid of those people that have actually been putting stuff that's been annoying me so much, um, it's been really good for me because I've actually stopped seeing it so I'm just not getting annoyed and I've actually made a pledge to myself to not even go on there 
don't even go on their pages <laughs> to look at what they're putting because just don't want to see it um so yeah that's that and just kind of coming off that one of the questions that somebody asked me on the uh instagram thing because i put like like i say i put um ah i can't speak today i put a poll not a poll i put a question box <laughs> on my instagram just asking um what do you want me to talk about on this video and somebody asked me um what do you feel about the bristol statue getting torn down in the protests and the riots and stuff and um, quite honestly i want this space to be political free as much as i can and um, i am a very political person and i get quite riled up about stuff if you've got me on facebook you will know that <laughs> if you've got me on twitter you will also know that and um, I have quite strong views in where I stand and what I believe in and all that kind of thing and I do mention them on this channel occasionally but I don't want to kind of make a whole video about politics because I am very aware that people have different opinions to me and I don't I just don't want it to be that sort of environment I get I've just said I get angry enough looking on Facebook at everybody and um, and stuff like that so I just I just don't want this to be that sort of environment I just want it to be journaling art stuff let's talk about that let's keep all that kind of stuff for a different channel <laughs> and for different people to talk about because I do like I say I do mention politics occasionally but I don't want it to be the main focus. And um, I will answer that question because it got asked and obviously you didn't know my stance about not being political on this channel that much. Um, my stance on that thing that happened is that it was a good thing because I don't understand why a slave trader had a statue up in the first place, quite honestly. Um, I'm also from Hull, which is where William Wilberforce was born who actually abolished slavery in the UK, uh, well helped to at least, and yeah, I just, I don't understand why he ever had, not William Wilberforce, I don't understand why this other guy ever had a statue in the first place. I'm not sure if I agree with it going in the river, it's kind of against pollution and stuff, but I do agree with it being pulled down, because you wouldn't have a statue of Hitler, would you? Like, let's be honest, you wouldn't. Uh, so I, I don't understand why he ever had one in the first place. So I'm totally for getting rid of, of horrible statues of people that, you know, yeah, they're important in history, but not for the right reasons. And we definitely shouldn't be celebrating them on our streets. Um, and that's kind of my stance on that. So I'm not going to go into any more about it. If you want to know more about political things that I think about and that kind of stuff, then feel free to privately message me. I'm more than happy to chat to you about it, but I'm not spending loads of time talking about it. So another thing that I got asked was, um, what do you search on Amazon to find nice stuff? Um, oh my God, I don't even know. I just type in stickers usually. <laughs> I literally just write in stickers. I put it down to the budget that I want to spend. So I filter stuff out. Um, and then I just, just scroll and scroll and scroll, really. Like that's honestly the best thing to do. I also allow stuff to come from abroad. So if you're just looking in the US or the UK or Europe, then you might not get as good deals and you might not get as good um, selection. If you're looking from Japan and China, honestly, them guys have the best stationery ever at the best prices. So have a look on there. What I would say with Amazon though, is just be a little bit careful if you are kind of bothered about artists getting the credit for their work. Um, I've said on a previous video, I bought some vinyl stickers of Animal Crossing, and I've also gone on a big thing of buying loads of big vinyl stickers of all different sorts of stuff. Um, and as much as I do love them, my sister, who's an illustrator, uh, illustrating, illustrating, illustrator, student, illustration, yeah, that's the word, <laughs> um, student, she actually pointed out to me that they probably won't be getting the credit or anything for their artwork and it's probably been stolen so just be careful on amazon you know you, you know buy what you want i'm not telling you not to but just be careful i'm probably going to be a bit more careful on amazon and try and go through etsy um, and stuff like that instead just so i know that the right people are actually getting the credit for their artwork because i would hate for something my sister has drawn or whatever to be 
profit in someone else's pocket basically. Um, so yeah, I literally just type in stickers and scroll. I scroll for hours. <laughs> um, and be really specific, you know, flower stickers, vinyl stickers, put in exactly what you want. Um, and then that's how you'll, you'll get the good stuff coming up. Um, another thing somebody asked me was things that inspire me to journal and other YouTubers and accounts that inspire me. Um, so things that inspire me quite honestly, I know this is really bad, but it's new stuff. Like if I have new stuff to journal with, or like new supplies, or new stickers, or anything like that, I will want to journal more. And I just know that that's something that I do. I know a lot of people are not like that, and they say, oh, you don't need, you know, um, new supplies and stuff to journal. For me, I do. Like, I'm not even gonna dress it up. I do need new supplies. Otherwise, I won't wanna do it. I just won't. I get bored of the stuff I've got. It's why I probably have over 600 washi tapes. Like, I need new stuff. To do it and that doesn't always mean that you have to spend a lot of money because you definitely don't you can buy loads of cheap stuff off amazon like i've said and um, you can get free stuff as well i've got a whole video on free and inexpensive craft items that you can get like um junk mail or um stuff that you've used from the day or cheap stickers that you can buy in bulk all this kind of stuff i talk about in a video you can go watch that um yeah so that's but yeah that's basically it like i i need new stuff that's how i keep inspired and um, to to want to journal and also looking back on my old journals that is something that i really enjoy doing because when you look through your old um journals you kind of be like oh my god look how much i've improved or look how much my life has improved or changed or whatever and it's just really nice to look at really um and also the community that we have here is another thing that inspires me i like having people look up to me and get inspired by me and um i love your comments and messages and happy mail that you send me and all that kind of stuff and um, so yeah your other youtubers and accounts um lynn from loves in's life obviously she has very different she has very similar style to me and um, alison from aj's inspired life i just don't feel like alison gets enough love I don't know why because her journaling is amazing and her videos are really funny and really chatty very like me mine if you like my videos which i'm guessing you do and um, definitely go and check out aj's inspired life and um, elizabeth from never hopeless by elizabeth megan from megan's diary lindsay from lindsay carver and um, rebecca from rebecca hoot she's an amazing artist she does some really quirky fun drawings um, and Nat from Nat's Creative Journals, she's over in Australia, she's great, she does some really um, lovely journaling, so go and check all those people out, um, and yeah, I'll leave the descriptions below, now this is something I just wanted to touch on, guys, why have none of you told me that my description box doesn't work, like, I've been saying, oh, leave stuff in the description box, can I check it out? And nothing's there, um, and I've only just noticed this <laughs> really, really recently, but I'm guessing it's been like this for a while, because every video I've checked up to about six months has definitely not had a description in the description box. So that's going to be my job for the next kind of week. I'm just going to go through slowly and start adding stuff in. If I've mentioned you in a video and I don't put your link, oh my God, I'm so sorry, but I'm not listening to six months worth of videos back to find out who is in there so i might just make like a generic um description box with people that i know i mention a lot in um, and just put all them in the in the description box um but yeah i i i never realized that 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 was a thing i'm so sorry that that hasn't been working and um, so yeah that's something that i'm definitely going to be doing this weekend and you know in a little bit of time as well um yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to chat about today guys oh yeah do you like this new stamp i got i think it's so funky i got this off ebay um oh just kind of going off that question again where do you find your cool stuff ebay is the number one you can get some really good deals on ebay i got these stamps for i think they were like two pound each um yeah they were really really cheap and i don't think they were meant to be that cheap and yeah really really nice so i've just gone over it in a pen and that's how i've kind of finish that off so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video 
and if you've got any more questions about anything leave them below i'm sorry this video seems to be at the, right now i don't know if it's going to be when it's uploaded it's kind of sticking i hope that that's just a thing on the editor not actually what it's looking like um but yeah if you've got any questions about anything else then let me know i'm always willing to answer questions i love all of your comments if you leave me anything um i read them all and yeah i hope that you have enjoyed this and go follow me on Instagram and all the other stuff. I can't think of anything else to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some music on for the next three minutes. Just so you can kind of watch my process. See what I'm doing. And I hope that's alright for you. Thanks so much guys. You take care. Bye.